Hello, everybody. My name is B. Williams. First, I'd like to give honor to the Most High, the Father, the Creator of heaven and of earth. Second, I'd like to say I stand for the rainbow, with the rainbow, under the rainbow. This is the first word, first sound, first light, first covenant that was given to Noah and his descendants. You can read about this in Genesis chapter 9, verse 11 through 14. Now, normally, I don't even show myself on a camera. I did before, but I normally don't show myself on the camera. Today, I'm showing myself on the camera because I've come to talk to you about something that's very important to me, and I think it would be very important to you to listen to what I'm having to say here. All right? Uh, and what I'm talking about today is giving away your glory. See, one of my things I teach is not to give away your glory. See, if you tell somebody your glory, you give away your glory, then a person can do it as they will with your glory. All right. But if you don't give them your glory, they can't do nothing to your glory. Even the most high says he will not give his glory to another. All right. And I'm telling you not to give your glory to another. There's many people, many leaders, many uh, uh, wannabes out there that's willing to steal your glory. For whatever all right to steal what you have if you if you if you are doing uh, uh, making videos and if you're trying to teach the people in the right way and somebody see something positive about in your videos they will take this and indoctrinate it into their religion or into their beliefs all right so we must be careful at this hour right now because a lot of our work which we have done has been taken and redoctoring and trying to be renamed under a under a new religion, under an old religion, under all the names. All right. We must also be careful, people at this hour right now, because we must look at our ancestry. We must go back and look at history. All right. If we don't look at history, we will repeat the things that happened in the past. All right. We know that our, our leaders have sold us out before. All right. We know that our leaders have been murdered. All right. Sometimes by the hands of our own. All right. For whatever reason, they was murdered. And normally when they was murdered by hands of our own, these people was uh, uh, the people that did the murdering was uh, 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 working with uh, secret societies, if one will. All right. They did the killings. All right. People, we must be careful right now. All right. Because different societies are rising up all right different groups are rising up to become your leaders but how many sacrifices did they have to make to become your leaders can you understand what i'm saying to you people i'm coming to you with some truth and knowledge and wisdom and i don't even like using those words all right because i know what those words means faith all right and if you understand faith to the truest like i understand faith then you understand why i don't like using those words but for me to reach you, my brothers, my sisters, and to plead with you to, to, to come into the wilderness, all right, to give yourself a chance with the most high, to purify your body, to get away from the GMO, to get away from the cities in which they're trying to trap you up into, to make you believe you're going to have a better life when you're losing your life. Your children are losing their lives. They're going to prisons. They turn it out. They they turn them out. Inside the school, they done passed a new thing. Well, now they can teach the devil's advocate if one will, if one can understand it. Where now they can, uh, uh, one can have a class of satanics. Uh, I don't know how you would call it, Satanism. This is at your doorstep. You got nothing to say about it. You got nothing you can do about it. All right. Because you won't stand up. And if you do stand up, you are scared. They're going to sit you back down. I'm saying let's get out of the cities. All right. Let's build our own destinies. Let's build our own own black Wall Streets all over again. Not one, but many of them. Let's trade amongst ourselves and others will come. All right. Let's leave out of the cities. Not everybody can do this. 
because it's, 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 it's a hard life to learn to live off the land. But for those that can hear, for those that can see, for those that can do and are willing to make that sacrifice, we have, we have 11 acres of land here, which we're building so we can help feed communities, our communities, when the time comes right. All right. Instead of all the talking and all the saying what I can do. All right. I'm a single man out here doing it by myself. I didn't ask other brothers. I didn't ask other sisters for help out here to come out here to help me build out here. All right. Ain't got nothing but none of them wanting to use me. All right. Just not wanting to come at all. I got some that came out here to try to take advantage of the situation to see what they can get or how they can use, how they can uh, 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 deceive. And then they get chased off one way or the other. All right. People. We must work together up under what was given to us, the covenant that was given to us. What was the first covenant that was given to Noah and his descendants? Because that was the first and only covenant that I stand up under. We must watch out for the clouds. Clouds carry a spirit of their own. So does the thunder and so does the lightning. All right. I want you to wonder why I'm bringing this up. Because we must be aware of our leaders. The people that's claiming to be our leaders, the people that's rising up to be our leaders. See, you're using these different names still. You're giving away your glory. And up under these names, they make sacrifices. You are the sacrifice. Up under these names. The biggest sacrifice they have for all of us is, is, is waiting for that great light to come from the sky. All right, and say every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Yeah, you will. All right, because that's the sounds of a nuclear bomb going off within your city. You've been deceived. They told you don't worry about this and don't worry about that. Don't you're gonna hear the rumors of war? You're gonna see strange signs in the sky, but don't worry. They're just dumbing you down. They tell you to wait for the great rapture. What happens after the rapture? All right, you have, you have the tribulations. All right, what happens after the nuclear bomb goes off and the people, the surrounding people, the fingernails start falling out, teeth start falling out, the hair turn gray, they get cancers and blisters all over their body. The great tribulation. See, people, they, they have deceived us through a whole bunch of imagery that we don't quite understand, that we don't quite know. And a lot of you are going to say, hey, this guy's wrong. That's not what it means. Jesus is coming back. You need to go back and reread it real good. All right. This is the making of a nuclear bomb. This is the nuclear bomb going off. This is the destruction it makes. The raptures taken up in the instant, the blink of an eye. Anybody know anything about Japan? Or Pearl Harbor? Or anything about like that? Anybody know anything about that? What about them? What about those Japanese that were sitting on a porch in their bed, walking down the street when they dropped that bomb? Only thing they seen was the bright light. That's all they seen. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess. Oh yeah, you're going to confess. When you see that bomb, that rocket flying in the sky, you're going to bow down and you're going to say, Oh Jesus! It's the right one because he's there. And the, and, and the uh, uh, tribulations is after he goes off. People, you don't have to like me. You don't have to believe in me. All right. But I'm telling you, you're sitting in a trap. They knew this from day one. They knew you was going to find out that this land was actually your land. 
And the answer to that riddle, uh, Jesus is coming back. A nuclear bomb. My name is B. Williams, people. I'm just giving it to you straight like it is. Most of you will turn your back on this truth and this knowledge and this understanding. I haven't had time to sit down and, and, and do it bookly for you so you can understand it. And I hopefully will find a time when I can do it. But until then, people, all right, we need to wake up. We need to get out of the cities. If they're going to send nuclear bombs off, don't think they're going to do it in a country and blow up a whole bunch of trees, a whole bunch of sticks. No, they're going to hit it where it counts the most, within the cities. You're doing Nimrod all over again, the Twin Towers. Have you ever forgot about that? And if Nimrod didn't exist, by default, that makes that story not real. But why are we living it? One must ask. People, I'm just coming to you with truth. My name is B. Williams. I hope some people can understand this. I hope you reach out and you get in contact with me. If you have any questions, please contact me right here. All right, and I will respond to you and we can talk in private and get an understanding together. My name is B. Williams and I'm out of here.